Hey guys, Rick Queen here with every version of Hermione Granger that Lego has ever made, except for one, but I'll get to that. Um, anyway, uh, so like I said, this is every version that they've made, basically. Um, <laughs> uh, and these span from 2001 on this end, and they're, they're kind of in order, and uh, they may be a little off, I might have one or two switched, but basically it starts in 2001, and then we go up through 2011, skip a few years, start back in 2017, and then these are from 2018. Um, so as you can see, there has been a lot of different versions of Hermione, um, which I really didn't even realize that there were this many different ones until I started getting ready to do this video. And I know this one's obviously not a minifigure, uh, but I did include the Hermione Brickhead uh, just because it's it's kind of a, a different version of Hermione, even though it's brick built. Uh, but anyway, I don't. I'm I'm really curious um, as I'm going through these. Uh, I want you guys to tell me in the comments which one of these is your favorite, or what would you do to make an even better uh, version of Hermione in the future. Um, and if there's any other videos like this you want to see, just let me know. Um, so anyway, uh, there were originally three different yellow-skinned versions of Hermione. Um, and I think all three were back in 2001. Oh, and, and let me just say this. Uh, every version of Hermione has only been in one or two sets, with one exception. And that's this one right here in 2018 is in three sets. Um, so, I don't know, just kind of a, a fun little side note. Uh, each one is only in one or two sets except that one. And I will try to put up the pictures um, of uh, which sets each one comes from as I go through this. Uh, so, anyway, this first one, um, this one was in the little colorful Harry Potter set. Um, they made three of those little colorful ones. Um, and uh, this was in that one, um, or one of those rather. Um, they kind of made, they made one with Hermione, one with Ron, and one with Harry Potter. Uh, so each one kind of had one of those like super bright, vibrant, colorful uh, sets that I really liked. And I, I've, I reviewed years ago and I, I even did an updated review a month or two ago, I think. So anyway, um, and then there's two other uh, versions of Hermione that were in yellow skin at the time and These two are, are pretty similar, but this one you can see has the Gryffindor outfit on uh, Which is a nice version. I think this one was in a couple of sets is in two sets I know like the Forbidden Corridor and another one and then this one was only in one set uh, this is supposed to be before she's been sorted, so it's just the, like, standard Hogwarts uh, uniform. So I think it's great that they, they gave us the, the different versions there. Um, I really liked having uh, the version, you know, before they get sorted. Um, I, I think that's really cool. And uh, after that, um, they did go to um, the actual, like, uh, peach skin tone <laughs> minifigures. Um, that looked a little bit more, slightly more realistic. Um, the first few that they did had uh, had some kind of goofy looking faces, to be honest with you. Um, but they're they're really good looking minifigures, in my opinion. Um, and uh, this one right here is uh, one of my favorite versions of Hermione because this one has the Time Turner. Um, which I thought was one of the coolest things in Harry Potter and I wish I had a time turner uh, That would be amazing. Um, I could do so much more with that um, But anyway the the time turner version came out in 2004 and it was in two sets uh, Because technically one set was just like this and then there was another set where the only difference was that they added a black cape um, so it was in two sets, just one with a cape, one without. Um, but I said that that has got to be like one of my favorite versions, just for having the time turner on it. 
I think it would be really cool if they made a new version of Hermione with the time turner. I just think that that's, that's awesome. It's one of my favorite little, little things in uh, Harry Potter. I know it's kind of like a, a side note for some people, but I personally think it's awesome. <laughs> anyway, so these next two, um, if you look at them side by side, they're very similar. Very, very similar. Um, and I, I want to say these came out around 2007-ish. Um, I, I may not have my year exactly right on there, um, but uh, it could be a little bit earlier. Maybe around 2005 or maybe both. I can't remember for sure. Um, but I know that this one was the one in uh, the Rescue from the Mer People. Um, so I think that was a, a really cool one. And the only difference between that and this next one is just the hairpiece. Um, it's the same torso, uh, same face. They just uh, switched the hairpiece. Um, and I don't know how many of you are familiar with the Rescue from the Mer People set, but uh, let me, if I can actually turn this around, um, she does have a double sided face. Um, because she was kind of basically asleep <laughs> uh, in that one. Um, so I think that's cool. And I don't think this one, yeah, this one didn't have a double-sided face. It, it started with, uh, with this one, starting having uh, <laughs> two sides of the face. Uh, so there's been just an incredible amount of different versions of Hermione, but sometimes I said it's just like, a hairpiece change and that's it um, so then we move up to the next row and these are new er not new but new er um, these two came out in uh, I think this one came out in 2010 and this one in 2011 um, these are some of the ones that uh, you may remember um, because they're not as old as the ones on the back row um, this one right here was only in Diagon Alley. Um, however, that outfit right there you may recognize because they put uh, Jenny, uh, Jenny Weasley in that same outfit in another set. Um, I think in the Burrow she had that set on, if I, or I mean that outfit on, uh, if I remember right. Now, after 2011, that's when they, they stopped making Harry Potter for a while. And we didn't see anything new from Harry Potter until this was in Dimensions in 2017. Um, and that's the only one with that uh, different colored hair. Um, I, I, I'm not sure how I feel about it. Um, at first, I want to say I don't like it, but um, if you watch the later movies, her hair did seem like it was a, a lighter color. Um, I don't know if she dyed it or maybe it just looked that way. Uh, so it it might possibly maybe be accurate. <laughs> I, I don't want to say for sure. Um, also on these, I believe that they did have double-sided faces. Um, let me go ahead and show you that real quick. And then on Dimensions, um, I really like just the, uh, the stand that they gave her. I think it's an awesome stand for that. And then there's her uh, second face for the Dimensions version. And I, I think that Dimensions version came with, I think it was a hippogriff in, uh, like, build with it, um, which is cool. Um, and so anyway, these are all 2018. Um, and like I said, this is the one that's been in, it was in three of the 2018 sets. Uh, so. That one's fairly common. It's pretty easy to get that version. Um, and if I remember right, I want to say this one came in the train. Um, I'll check as I'm editing the video and putting the pictures up for you guys. Um, but I think this one was in the train, uh, the Hogwarts Express. And then this one, of course, is from the minifigure series. And this is the only one that has the little legs that move. And uh, of course, in 2018, that's when they started giving them uh, much more 
appropriate looking wands. They look a lot better than just the, the sticks that they had. And then this tiny little, little statuette version here is uh, the one out of the micro scale Hogwarts castle, that huge micro scale set. Um, that's the one from that. Um, and I mentioned at the beginning that uh, there is one version that I don't have and it, it's kind of similar to the little statuette. Um, it's slightly bigger. It's just one of those micro figures uh, from the games that they did, the board games. Um, I thought I had the Harry Potter board game, but I can't find it. Uh, so possibly I might have that, that version that I'm missing somewhere, um, but I'm not sure. I, I thought I had it, but I might not. Uh, I just don't know for sure. Um, and that one, the, the board game was released in 2010. So, you know, around the same time as this one here. Um, but anyway, and, and then of course, you know, we have the, the 2018 Brickhead back here too. So now that you have seen every version of Hermione, let me know in the comments which one is your favorite. And if there's any other videos like this you want to see, let me know, and I will see you guys later. Before you go, don't forget to click my picture to subscribe to the channel. And if you already subscribed, you can click the thumbnail to check out more of my videos.